So I'll talk a little bit about the uh, about who we are as uh, people, also, and uh, sharing these songs with you. So the the piece that you see behind us here on the wall is we'll start from the um, from your uh, from your left side there, and this furthest one over here is uh, this is a depiction of uh, what we call the Hiawatha Belt, or uh, it shows the different five nations. Originally, there was five nations among the Haudenosaunee or Iroquois people. And later on in the 17th century, we also added the Tuscarora, Tuscarora people. So a way to identify these different nations and the way we identify each other is by uh, um, the headdress, the way our headdress appears. And you'll see the uh, the first one is the Seneca Nation. The Seneca Nation has one feather standing straight up and very, very few um, split feathers. Also, the Cuba Nation has a large number of split feathers and one, and one feather slightly slanted towards the back. The Onondaga Nation, which is the next nation over, they are uh, one feather up, one feather slanted towards the back and also have the split feather. Um, the Oneida Nation is two feathers up, one feather down, and they're, um, they also have the split feather. And the Mohawk, Mohawk Nation, they have three, three of the larger eagle feathers standing straight up in their headdress, and also have the split feather, um, secondary feathers. The Tuscarora Nation, as I mentioned, which, which was added, and which became the Six Nations, which, which we're now referred to as the Six Nations. However, we were originally five nations. So the Six Nations now, um, the Tuscarora, Na Tuscarora Nation, and there's the, their, their headdresses do not have any upright feathers. It's all secondary split feathers. So that's one way for us to identify, um, to identify each other as um, we can see which person belongs to which nation when we're gathered together, and also for anybody else to be able to identify um, which nation um, these members come from. So a lot of the times you'll see these, um, when these when these young men, are, when the men and the women are also in their full regalia um, or, or clothing, uh, they have many different uh, beadwork that has a, uh, Clan, their clan, their clan, and their and their nation, um, also represented right into their style of um, of regalia. Now, um, some of the instruments we're using here today. Um, this is a traditional uh, water drum. It's a very uh, it's a very small uh, small drum, and it's it's hollowed out, as you can see in the middle. You can't really see this one, but. It's um, hollowed out and it's capped at the bottom. This is uh, just carved from a tree. Um, and over top it has this uh, uh, white-tailed deer hide over, stretched over top. And also to, uh, to bring the drum to life, it has uh, water inside. So I have a little um, plug here where we insert the, insert the water and you can see just a little bit of water come over. That's actually what brings this this um, this drum to life. It already has all the major elements of of the natural world and everything that surrounds us. We're connected to it. Um, this tree, which was uh, also living at one point, and this animal who, who gave its life to uh, for us to be able to use it, and the water is also very important. It's similar to us as, as human humans. We also have water inside of us, so we treat this drum the same way as we would treat a human. Um, as far as the rattles, uh, these are kind of modern inventions, actually. Um, our traditional rattles are, are, are made from um, elm bark or soft or um, smooth bark hickory. And these rattles are uh, kind of modern, modernized um, but they're still also they're also made from uh, all natural um, all natural um, elements. 
it's got that uh, steer or cow, cow horn rattle and it, that's, that's the base part of it is made out of cow horn and this is also capped with uh, wood it's got wooden uh, and it has a wooden spindle through the, through the handle and inside you guys can give it a shake you can rattle a shake okay. um, it has a uh, seeds inside there's um these bladder nut seeds that grow, grow along the creeks and that's what we we harvest those and put them into our rattles and we have these caps on top are these little pegs on top of the rattles those are also removable so that when once the rattle once this rattle starts to get low on sound we know it's now turned into powder or or uh, kind of disintegrated from all the singing we empty out the powder and insert new um, seeds into it so it just makes new sound um, that, that's about it does it for our instruments I mean these are our main instruments that we use during our uh, socials and um, as I mentioned earlier these a lot of these socials social dance songs are uh, they come from the earth is what we refer to them as come from the earth and uh, I guess we'll sing a few more few more songs and uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the, enjoy the music <laughs>